Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Stationery Pals video. We all know the beauty of the paper journal, but I recently learned that I can also create an aesthetic journal digitally. So in today's video, I'll explain the differences between paper and digital journals. Are you all excited? Alright, let's get started. Number 1. Portability I'm sure everyone has been in a situation where you want to carry notes or a bullet journal, along with several tapes, pencils, and stickers. For example, when you're traveling or doing outdoor activities, bringing your notebooks around can be challenging at times, especially if it is heavy or bulky. It is much easier and more efficient to use a digital journal if you have an iPad or a mobile device that is compatible with it. Your journal can be made at any time and from any place, as long as you have access to an internet connection. As you see, I just took a photo of this adorable bear and saved it in my digital notebook. I can make any changes I want to the image with my Apple Pencil. It was easy for me to mark it down on the calendar that I use every day. It is amazing, don't you think? Number two, personalization. The paper journal can stimulate your creativity and bring out your artistic side. DIYing can also help you develop your hands-on abilities. While the process and writing can take some time and it requires a lot of your own ideas and materials, you can create your own unique layout with your favorite stationery. If you are a busy person who wants to accomplish something that does not require a lot of time or effort, you can use the digital journal where you can just pick and download some ready-made stickers and designs from Stationery Pal website and start doing your journal as easy as that. Number three, journal preservation. Paper will eventually run out of writing space, which will prompt you to purchase another notebook or bullet journal. Before you know it, you've got a lot of beautiful stationery, all loaded to the brim and using up valuable storage space. You probably won't want to throw them away since they are the cherished sanctuary of your ideas and feelings. If you have an iPad or tablet and enough storage space, you won't have to worry about writing extra paper notes. Synchronization is also incredibly useful. Most apps now can easily transfer your data. If you purchase a new tablet or phone, you can quickly sync them and that is quite simple and convenient. Number four, in terms of cost, I'm not sure whether you've noticed that when you're designing your paper journal, you can't help but want to acquire more. When you see attractive tapes, delicate notebooks, stickers, and brightly colored pens, you will realize that you have a lot of stationery and spent too much money. When it comes to cost, a digital journal is less expensive since it minimizes the need to buy stationery. Instead, all you need is your iPad or tablet together with an Apple pen and stylus and you will have everything that you need to start on your monthly planner and other journal activities. Number five, sensibility to reality. Digital journals, without a doubt, cannot replicate the fun and excitement of using stationery. For example, and the clicking sensation when pushing the pen cap, the tear sound when you're peeling off the tapes, are all delightful experiences. 
Also, the feeling of giving your effort to writing and designing your bullet journal is one of the best experiences. In contrast, the digital journal lacks the precise physical sensation. The pure fun and satisfaction of designing your paper or bullet journal cannot be captured digitally. In fact, a digital journal is only accessible via certain apps. Most digital journals require internet and cloud connectivity. You won't be able to journal in places where there is no internet access. Number six, adjustment. A typical paper might be complicated if you're trying to correct something that was written incorrectly. If you value accuracy, scribbling in a notebook is probably not your cup of tea. This isn't an issue with digital journals. If you make a mistake with writing, you can remove it with the undo or eraser keys. Number seven, diversion. Keeping a paper journal can give you a lot of self-healing, and it is one of the best ways to relieve stress in modern society. You can simply sit back and relax in front of your workstation while doing your creative work. This form of free time will make you feel in charge of your day, so you will be more likely to stick to a goal. The challenge with digital journals is the apps that share the same area of journaling. Apps that are meant to divert your attention away from scrolling through them. You get one or two notifications from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and so on, and you're hooked. Before you know it, you stop journaling midway and spend hours scrolling through one of your feeds instead. Which do you prefer now that you've seen the difference between a paper journal and a digital journal? If you choose a paper journal, it allows you to explore your creative side. Your personalized journal can include doodles, sketches, notes, mind maps, and other ways to come up with ideas. The simple act of writing things down can often make them seem more manageable. The process of externalizing and expressing your thoughts on paper can make your goals more concrete and doable. This is very useful for those who prefer to learn through visual means. You can't get this with a digital planning strategy because everything is always in view. Hands-on DIY projects can be a great stress reliever. If you choose a digital journal, digital journals are fewer resources and are easier to manage than paper versions. You can access your digital journals at any time and from any location. It is no longer necessary for you to get your notebook and get all of your stationary materials. It can be accessed in a matter of minutes or seconds rather than hours or days. It takes far less time to look through a digital journal than a traditional paper one. Thanks to the use of digital stickers, you won't get your hands too tired from writing in and decorating your journal. What are your thoughts? I suppose I will use both. At the end of the day, you can decide which method is best for you. Both the paper and digital versions offer lots of new benefits that are simply too good to pass up. So why choose one over the other when you can enjoy both? If you like it, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!